Hey guys, I'm GSphere, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom fonts to OBS. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you can use the same method for Streamlabs OBS and OBS Live, but I would assume so. So let's go ahead and get on with the video. Hey guys, real quick, before we begin, I am GSphere, and I'm a content creator on both Twitch and YouTube, and I'm dedicated to bringing you the best possible stream tips, tricks and tutorials to help your streams stand out from all the rest so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to install a custom font into obs so what you're going to want to do is go to dafont.com that's d-a-f-o-n-t.com and with this one i'm just going to be showing you the long shot one right here so what i did is i went to gothic modern i'm pretty sure you can just search this one any of them will work but i just downloaded this and then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the zip file of it. So after we do this, we will then go to the longshot.tttf. Double click on that and it's going to take you to this page right here. So after you get to this page, you're just going to hit this install button. Now it's going to install it. It could take a minute. So there we go. And now we should be able to add it into our text files so text gdi we'll just add that then long now we might have to restart obs for this so you actually have to restart your obs or streamlabs or obs live i assume that all three of them will work the exact same way but once you restart your obs after installing the actual custom font now you can right click your text go to properties and then you can select the font so we installed the long shot which is right here so boom this is it there we go that's as easy as it is guys all you have to go do is go to that website download the font install the font restart your obs and it should work now so let me know in the comments if it did help you. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.